Welcome to the Getting Started with Gateway Antivirus video tutorial. During this brief video, I'll define Gateway Antivirus, explain how to set up and use Gateway Antivirus, and I'll show you how Gateway Antivirus and WatchGuard Dimension work together to keep you informed about virus activity on your network. Hackers and cyber criminals have plenty of ways to attack computers and networks. Viruses, including worms and trojans, are malicious computer programs that self-replicate and put copies of themselves into executable code or documents. When a computer is infected, the virus can destroy files or record keystrokes. Needless to say, hackers logging your user's keystrokes is anything but secure. The best way to defend your network from infections and keylogging is with prevention. Gateway Antivirus, or Gateway AV, is a fully integrated security subscription for WatchGuard Firebox and XTM devices that can help you protect your network from these types of attacks. Gateway AV works in tandem with your Firebox or XTM device to provide real-time protection against viruses, trojans, worms, spyware, and rogueware. Gateway AV scans traffic on all major protocols using continually updated signatures to detect and block all types of malware. Because Gateway AV is integrated with your Firebox or XTM device, you have an easy to manage, cost effective solution without additional hardware to purchase and maintain. There are two ways you can activate Gateway AV with the Gateway Antivirus Wizard and from within your proxy policies themselves. I'll show you how to use the wizard in this video. To learn about activating Gateway Antivirus from within proxy policies, see the WatchGuard System Manager help. When you use the Activate Gateway Antivirus wizard, you can create proxy policies and enable Gateway AV for several proxies at the same time. If you plan to use Gateway AV for more than one proxy, you'll definitely save time by using the wizard. To start the Gateway Antivirus Wizard, from WatchGuard System Manager, select the Firebox or XTM device on which you want to enable Gateway AV, open Policy Manager, and then navigate to the wizard, like this. This dialog box shows policies in your configuration file for which you can enable Gateway AV. As you can see here, Gateway AV isn't enabled for my HTTP proxy or SMTP proxy policies. Here you can create new proxy policies that use Gateway Antivirus. I want to enforce Gateway AV for FTP traffic, so I'll select this checkbox before clicking Next. To verify and customize what actions the Gateway AV service will take when it finds a virus, click here before clicking Finish. Now that Gateway Antivirus is activated, I can start configuring it. To get started, I'll select the policy I want to look more closely at. In this case, it's the HTTP proxy policy. Here is where you select the action Gateway AV will take if a virus is detected in a file, web page, or web upload. WatchGuard has done our best to provide you with smart default settings but you may want to choose different actions that work better in your environment. The actions available in this list depend upon the type of proxy policy you're configuring. For example, you can quarantine email, but not a website. Use this drop-down list to select the action Gateway AV will take when it can't scan an object or an attachment, such as a password-protected zip file. When Gateway AV is enabled, it scans each file up to a specified kilobyte count. This size limit allows the proxy to partially scan very large files without impacting performance. I'll go more into Gateway AV scan limits later on. If you choose not to use the default, you can change the file scan limit here. I want to point out that if you enable DLP and Gateway Antivirus for the same proxy action, the larger configured scan limit is used for both services. If you want Gateway AV to generate a log message and trigger an alarm when it detects a virus, make sure these checkboxes are selected. For information about how to configure alarm notifications for AV actions and how to set logging and notification preferences, see the WatchGuard System Manager help. 
Repeat these steps for any remaining proxy policies you want to configure Gateway AV for. Before these changes can take effect, the configuration file must be saved to the device. As I mentioned earlier, when Gateway AV is enabled, it scans each file up to a specified kilobyte count, which allows the proxy to partially scan very large files and keep the performance impact low. The default scan limits vary by device model. For most Firebox and XTM devices, it's 1,024 kilobytes. The default for the Firebox T10 and XTM2 series is 512 kilobytes. Remember that most malware is delivered in files smaller than 1 megabyte in size, so larger files are less likely to spread quickly in a viral manner. Because of this, we recommend that you use the default scan limit setting. If you increase the scan limit, Gateway AV scans larger files, or partial files, and could result in fewer concurrent connections through your Firebox or XTM device. If you decrease the scan limit, we recommend not setting it any lower than 256 kilobytes. If you use Gateway AV with your HTTP proxy, there are some great tips and tricks to help keep file scanning from impacting the performance of your Firebox or XTM device in the Optimized Gateway Antivirus for HTTP Traffic video tutorial. I'll include a link to that video at the end of this one. To see Gateway Antivirus working for you, Take a look at WatchGuard Dimension. With Dimension, you can prove the worth of your gateway antivirus investment, as well as help ensure your company's HIPAA and PCI compliance. WatchGuard Dimension includes predefined reports that are automatically generated from the log message data from your Firebox or XTM devices, Fire clusters, and WatchGuard servers. To review which threats Gateway Antivirus has blocked, in WatchGuard Dimension, navigate to the Services Reports. Using Dimension along with Gateway AV provides you as a network administrator with full visibility of any network threats that Gateway AV has blocked for you. All you need to do is make sure that you've correctly set up logging and that you've configured logging in the policies for which you've enabled Gateway AV. For more information about Dimension, see the WatchGuard Dimension Help. To learn more about Gateway Antivirus, visit the WatchGuard website.